Okay, in this lesson, we're going to talk about this particular slide that leads to our upcoming investigation. So in this instance, they have an example of a container, and if it's kind of hard to see, let me give you something similar to. So I have this glass container, so it's not plastic, but it is clear, and this airtight lid, and the airtight lid, you put it in, and you snap it, and it is airtight. So if I put fluid in this or water in this, none will leak out. It will stay in there. So the example for this one is much like that airtight container in the picture. So it says this container has an airtight lid. The hot, wa hot water was added to it and then sealed for 24 hours. Then the container was emptied. Cold water was added to it and then sealed for 24 hours. Measurements and calculations of the temperature changes of the water and the mass change of the system are reported below. So if you look at this tabular data, you'll notice that the hot water was added. And if you notice, the temperature went down by 55 degrees Fahrenheit. Then the cold water was added and it increased to 38 degrees Fahrenheit. And if you notice both temperatures, 24 hours later, the temperature was 70 and 1 tenths degrees Fahrenheit. On the other side of the chart, you'll notice that the mass did not change. They both weighed exactly beginning at the starting and exactly the same at the end. So there was no temperature change. So the question is, how did a container much like this, or in the picture there, maintain the same exact temperature, but not change mass? Where well, we have already learned that hot water gets lighter if it's steamed out, cold water gets heavier with condensation. So how come after 24 hours, nothing changes? What's the only thing that you observe that might have caused the temperature change? And what sometimes kids notice as that the only thing that may have changed is there is light entering it. So maybe that's where we need to start our investigation next time is how does light impact thermal energy?